Hey everyone! When I delved into the world of Arduinos a few months back, I decided that my first proper project was going to be some form of servo-operated sentry gun. I initially wanted to mount a nerf gun on it, but that would call for a much larger turret than the one currently on screen, and quite a few more design considerations. Also, nerf guns are expensive, I should know. After a super simple sketch on paper, I began designing the main parts in Fusion 360. It's comprised of three parts, the base, the arm, and the turret. They are connected with some 608 bearings I had left over from some spool holders. I prototyped a simple breadboard with two potentiometers and two servos, printed the pieces and got a first prototype working with blue tack and threads. At this point, I felt it was kinda lame not shooting anything, so I got a cheap laser pointer and convinced the laser out of it. Next, I did some sloppy soldering work to connect some positive and negative wires to the board and bypass the button with the lead of a broken LED. I refined the design, adjusting tolerances and stuff, and two prototypes later, I had a working final with minimal blue tack and piano wire instead of threads. While waiting for my SD card module to arrive, I disassembled it and spray painted it black. I also dry brushed it with some chrome to highlight the edges and weather it a bit. Once the module arrived, I spent a delightful two whole days figuring out what a serial port is, and once I got it working, I wired up a cheap speaker, loaded up the laser sounds, and threw in a startup sound as well. I then finished up the coding and made some final adjustments. <laughs> Let me show you its features. So it starts up when power is connected and goes into sentry mode. So I think the best way to describe the gun's movements while in sentry mode is this. Basically, it will move in one direction till it hits the corner and bounces back. When it hits a corner, a bit of code plays a beep from the MP3 module. This button will change it to control mode, where you control it yourself. Very simple. A knob for X and a knob for Y, and you can also fire it. If you hold down the fire button, it will keep firing. And that's about it for this build. Overall, it was a great project that took about two weeks, and it taught me about 3D printing tolerances, lots of coding, and design process. A build this simple should probably have had no more than one prototype, but that's learning I guess. Comment any questions or advice you may have for me, or any future projects you want to see. Thanks for watching, do leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more fun stuff. See you soon!